Intriguing discoveries in the Orion Nebula. Free-floating planets in pairs astronomers from the European Space Agency using the James Webb Space Telescope have discovered hundreds of free-floating planets in the Trapezium Cluster, which is located in the Orion Nebula. Most of them have masses similar to or greater than Jupiter, and some of them roam the vastness of space in pairs. The James Webb Space Telescope JWST, has revealed the presence of hundreds of free-floating planets in the trapezoid cluster, located in the Orion Nebula. Floating Planets sometimes called solitary planets, are elusive objects. They are not gravitationally bound to any star. They are isolated, floating freely in space. It is possible that they were previously part of a planetary system from which they were ejected as a result of interactions between protoplanets at an early stage of the formation of the planetary system. Although there are many other mechanisms that could lead to this, these are one of the most mysterious astronomical objects because they roam the vastness of space alone and do not orbit around any star that would shed light on them. They are very difficult to detect. Until recently, few similar worlds were known. Research published at the end of 2021 made a lot of noise, in which astronomers discovered 70 such objects in one go. More on this topic in the text. Astronomers have discovered the largest group of free planets so far. But the new discoveries surpass those of a few years ago. In the trapezoid cluster in the Orion Nebula. Astronomers have discovered hundreds of objects that are not associated with any star. Their masses are similar to that of Jupiter in our solar system. Moreover, some of the discovered free planets drift around the galaxy in pairs. Scientists currently do not know any mechanism that would be responsible for the formation of such free binary planet systems. Astronomers discovered 42 pairs composed of free-floating planets. They tentatively named them Jumbo, Jupiter mass binary objects. The results and description of the observations have been accepted for publication in the journal Nature and are currently available in the archive.org preprint database. DOI 10.48550 Archive.2310.01231 As we discover more and more alien worlds in space, it is becoming increasingly clear that our understanding of how planets and other structures form has serious gaps. Recent discoveries may help complement them. Scientists believe that most free-floating planets can be found in star-forming clouds. This is because many stars located close to each other can interfere with the functioning of planetary systems. The gravitational interactions can easily pull a planet out of a system. In turn, computer simulations suggest that free-floating planets may be extremely common. Similar objects, but much larger, have been discovered before in the Orion Nebula. This nebula is the large star-forming region closest to Earth. 
It is located approximately 1,400 light years from Earth. Previously, it was difficult to spot the smaller free floating planets, especially against the bright Orion Nebula. Such planet mass objects are relatively cool and emit most of their light in the infrared. However, the capabilities of JWST also allowed us to notice smaller ones. Because the Webb telescope observes the universe in infrared light, we looked for very small objects and found them. We discovered planets with masses of one Jupiter mass, and even half the mass of Jupiter, floating freely, unattached to any star, said Mark McCorkran of the European Space Agency. The discovered jumbos, i.e. binary objects with the mass of Jupiter, are about a million years old. Their temperatures are around 600 to 700 degrees Celsius. Analysis of the faint light they emit revealed traces of water vapor, carbon monoxide and methane in their atmospheres. This is not far from the typical composition of a young gas giant. The problem with jumbos is that they come in pairs. Two gravitationally bound objects with planetary masses are really difficult to explain. Stars are formed when material in a molecular cloud collapses under its own gravity. As it spins, it takes in more and more material from the surrounding cloud, which forms the disk that powers the star. During this process, the disk may break apart, causing a second star to form. This is how a double star is born. However, the theoretical lower limit on the mass of an object formed in this scenario is about three times the mass of Jupiter. Smaller objects, such as planets, form in a disk of material around a young star. Simulations suggest that young planets can be easily ejected from their systems as a result of gravitational interactions with another planet or star. However, the mechanisms involved in this process do not lead to the formation of binary planet systems. Therefore, the discovered pairs of planets may be failed binary stars that have not gained enough mass to become a full-fledged binary star system. Perhaps the free planets floating in the vastness of space could find each other and gravitationally bond into a pair. Scientists do not rule out this concept but emphasize that it would be quite a rare phenomenon. Meanwhile, 42 such pairs were discovered in the trapezoid cluster. McCorkran suggests that we are missing something fundamental in our understanding of the mechanisms of planet formation. Scientists plan further observations of Jumbo. They have even booked JWST time in March.